Iran has supplied Russia with several hundred short-range ballistic missiles. The Wall Street Journal reported citing senior American and European officials. One of the sources specified that the weapons had already arrived in Russia. Also, according to him, Tehran intends to continue supplying shells to Moscow. Iran has sent short-range ballistic missiles to Russia, giving Moscow another powerful military tool to use in its war against Ukraine. The move follows stern warnings from the West not to supply the weapons to Moscow, the article says. The transfer of Iranian missiles coincided with an intensification of shelling of civilian infrastructure in Ukraine by the Russian army. The attacks have killed dozens of civilians since late August. The West has previously warned Iran that additional sanctions would be imposed if it supplied missiles to Russia. European officials told the publication that they are currently working on a sanctions response with their American colleagues. Since the West knew that Iran was going to supply Russia with ballistic missiles, preparatory work on restrictive measures began in the summer. The sanctions are expected to affect a number of Iranian companies and individuals involved in arms transfers to Moscow, including transport companies. The new restrictions will also ban Iran Air, the Iranian national carrier, from flying to European airports. A White House spokesman commented on reports of Iran preparing or already begun deliveries of short-range ballistic FAF-360 to Russia. National Security Council spokesman Sean Savet did not directly confirm that the delivery had already taken place. Any transfer of Iranian ballistic missiles to Russia would represent a dramatic escalation of Iran's support for Russia's war of aggression against Ukraine. Reuters quotes Savet as saying, Another agency source, this time anonymously said, Washington was keeping a close eye on potential shipments. Iran has transferred hundreds of drones to Russia during its full-scale invasion of Ukraine, according to people speaking on condition of anonymity, but the potential transfer of ballistic missiles would be a worrying development in the war. Iran is one of Russia's closest allies. Tehran has provided Moscow with thousands of Shahed kamikaze drones since the start of the full-scale war, and the two nations continue to deepen their military and political cooperation. Former spokesman for the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, Vladislav Zeleznev, stated that the Kursk operation of the Armed Forces of Ukraine may not be the only military decision that will be a surprise for the occupiers. During this offensive, some goals were achieved, some were failed. Zeleznev told RBC that when planning such military operations, the main factor is the availability of resources both in manpower and equipment. The expert noted that according to some sources, up to 12,000 Ukrainian troops are involved in the Kursk operation. Therefore, he does not expect more serious progress in the future in other areas. I don't think we should count on a march on Moscow. In my opinion, even Kursk is not in any danger, he added. However, according to him, we will only be able to find out what the top military leadership of Ukraine is planning after it happens. Although I am still convinced that the resource factor is key, Commander-in-Chief Alexander Sirsky may have plans of any level of grandeur, but without the necessary resources, everything will remain at the level of expectations. He concluded, Experts say Russia's military response in Kursk has somewhat mirrored the fumbling reactions of its president. The initial response when they got over the shock of what was happening would have been one, who have we got in the cupboard left to defend? Retired Australian Major General Mick Ryan, the author of a new book, The War for Ukraine, Strategy and Adaption Under Fire, told, whether it's conscripts, whether it's understrength battalions from the Ukrainian theater, our strategic reserves. Battlefield accounts have backed up the sense that a motley selection of Russian troops were rushed in as Moscow grappled with the dilemma of how to balance defending its own soil with keeping up the slow momentum on the Eastern Front. Ukrainian officials said some troops were redeployed from Kharkiv region on the Southern Front. Chechen leader Ramzan Kadyrov claimed early on that his Special Forces unit, the Akhmat Brigade, had been deployed. Naval infantry officers from the Black Sea Fleet in Crimea are also involved. The diverse groupings complicated Russian efforts to coordinate its resistance with one pro-Russian military blogger, even noting that Ukraine was deliberately creating disruptions and then retreating, 
taking advantage of the fact that our diverse forces, who don't always have good communications with each other, were activated to repel this invasion. 